Hey, what's going on everybody? Ahoy here! Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today guys, we'll be continuing our Let's Play on a Pokemon Violet. So in a previous episode, we had an action-packed episode where we traveled a huge route to get to the city where the Pokemon School is located. And then we left off where Nimona left us in the city and she told us to explore around so that's what we are going to be doing and finally on this episode we are going to be going to the Pokemon school that is upwards over there you can see the huge school with the Pokeball as it's like landmark or it's like building structure whatever you want to call it but overall I gotta say this design is super cool man oh and there's the way Coco Okay, pretty laggy, not gonna lie. You can see the character models, they're a little bit laggy. What is kind of Pokemon is that? I don't know its name, but I do recognize it. Oh, wow. Super laggy, man. I gotta say that. Alright, um. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a, a battle mat. Cool, very cool indeed. So, how do we do this? What is this? Balloons? Interesting. There's like different... Ooh, we could explore the shops and everything. I'm good, thanks. I'm not wasting my money to get a haircut. I think I'm pretty good like this. Okay. Well, where exactly do we have to go? I think we have to go to the Pokemon school. It's been a long time since I played Pokemon Violet. It's been over like a month, I think, or even two months, I would say. Yeah, I think it might have been over two months, to be generally honest. That's insane. Alright, um... I'm not sure where to go, to be generally honest. But I'm just gonna head on the way upwards, which is over here. Wow, that's a long way to go, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, boy. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, Team Star? Is that the new enemy team in this game? I think it might be, actually. Yeah, I think it is the enemy team. Let's help her out. Uh, I don't think you do. I think uh, you're kind of pushing her. Nope, we had no idea who you were. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have a battle? Alright, let's go, Fake Coco. Fake Coco is ready for battle. Alright, let's see what you got. We got some good Pokemon on our team, so we should be fine. We have Fake Coco, Lechonk, and then we have uh, Fletchling also. So we'll use them. Ooh, what the heck is that? That's a new Pokemon. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, that's a Shrudo? Or Shrudel? I don't know how to pronounce it, but we are gonna take it out. It's a level 8, so we're still a little bit higher level than that, and that did a lot of damage. So let me use another one that does nothing. And Ember! Nice, and it fainted. Let's go! And Fleshling uh, leveled up! That's actually perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, because you lost, loser. Alright, so now... Do we have to battle the other one? Yeah! They were trying to battle us. Tuh! <laughs> <laughs> not really what happened. They literally attacked us, pretty much.
Yeah, where were you? Ooh, what is this? You obtained the Terra Orb. You put the Terra Orb in your bag, a key item's pocket. Nice! Terra Orb. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it changed... Oh. When, when it is charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrorize. I can't pronounce that word for the life of me. Terrorize? Um... Okay, so that's a new, that's the huge new gimmick that they added to this game where you could pretty much change the type of your Pokemon with that orb. With the Terra Orb. Okay, nice. So now that we have that, that is pretty useful now against battling other people because that puts us at an advantage point. Oh, we're gonna battle the other one. Uh, is Fue Coco? I think he should be fine. I think he could handle it. I like how their animation at the beginning, they like draw a star. That's so cool, man. Okay. Ooh, a young goose. Oh, interesting. Crystallizing. Okay. Yeah, so it changes the type of the Pokemon. But, like, what does it do? Oh, interesting. So I only can do it once when I heal. Interesting, okay. So let's try it our first time. And let's use Ember to see what happens. Okay. Let's use the Terra Orb. We threw it. Nice. Ooh, look at that animation. It's made out of glass now. That's so cool. It looks so clean. Now he's gonna use Ember, right? So he's gonna... Destroy that Yongoose. Oh yeah, he destroyed it 100%. Leer? Okay, what does that do? Our defense fell? Okay, no matter. We'll use Ember again. Nice! Haha! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> loser. That's what you get. Let's go, Fue Coco. We defeated both of them, so we're pretty good. I'm honestly, at the moment, I feel good about our Pokemon because our Pokemon are at a level that really doesn't make it that we're underleveled. We're at a higher level, not too much though, so I gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, we learned that pretty fast, especially... Coming from a person that played multiple Pokemon games. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta, like, uh, strategize with that. We gotta use it at the right time. Oh, and there they go. They ran off. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just kick him out? Yeah, no problem. Well, okay. Maybe. Oh god. Even worse than the already the ones that we already passed by. Yeah, that looks super high. Oh boy. All right, let's do it. Oh nice. All right, let's climb this long staircase. Look at the frame rate on the people that are walking. It looks terrible, man. I really, really, really hope. I know I've been saying this a long time. Please, Nintendo, make a Switch Pro. Well, there's an interesting rumor going out that I think Nintendo is gonna like ditch the Nintendo Switch and make like its successor. Which, if that is the case, that would be insane. Because I would not expect that at all from Nintendo. I would have expected them to upgrade the Switch for sure. We actually made it to Uva Academy. Jeez. Nice. At least we finally made it after how many episodes? Like five or four? I think five. This is number five. Okay, so now what? Pretty long. It was tough, I'll say. 
Yeah, she kind of did. She, oh, she brought me all around. <laughs> yeah, down the city. Yeah, we battled them and defeated them easily. Light work. Interesting. All right, perfect. Nice, a cool animation. Look at the frame rate, man. Oh my god. There's no way. And supposedly, I'm running on the new patch because before I recorded, I that look at that kid. Oh my god. I um before I recorded, I downloaded the patch that apparently, what's it called? Adjusted um fixed some of the bugs in the game, but no, it didn't. Look at that. That's insane. I even restarted the game because before when I started at that screen that we started at. In the background it was so laggy i'm like maybe uh, i have to restart my game because it was running for a long time so maybe that was the issue but when i restarted the game and everything it was the exact same thing so i'm expecting it's just maybe the game itself nice that's pretty cool uh Let's say everything. Um, I don't know. What do we want to do? I want to complete the Pokédex. I want to be a strong trainer. I don't actually know. I'm going to go with the second option. I want to be a strong trainer. The very best like nobody ever was. Okay, perfect. Okay, now what? Okay, so I guess we're gonna just explore. Let's go to the cafeteria and see what's there. So I guess for now we're just gonna be exploring the area, which is not bad. I'm starting to get to know. Oh, wasn't this the person that we met outside of the lighthouse? Arvin, okay. Yeah, from the lighthouse. Oh, at least he remembered our name. What's, uh, his dream? Huh. So what does he want to do? He wants to become, like, a... A chef? Interesting. So the roots only found in Paldea? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further in into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact cruel beasts were intended Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retire for a time. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Look at that. What's area zero? That's my question.
Okay. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna meet up with the Titans. Interesting, where are they located? The oh, we got five? I, I was gonna count six. The Path of the Legend. Oh, so we're getting the three different storylines because in this game, there's a traditional storyline where you could go to get gym battles. Then you could fight the Titans, and I think there's a third one where you have to, like, find treasure. A bag of stardust. Ah, uh, what does that do? Oh, okay, so it's nothing really special. It's maybe just something to sell. Alright, sounds like a plan. Alright, so now what do we do? Do we go back... Oh, what's ringing? Is that our phone? Our Rotom phone? Uh, yes? Who is this? Uh, who are you? Okay. I do know, we just ran into some people. Interesting. Um, but who are you though? That's my question. Interesting conversation. I wonder who that was. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Is that a Buizel in the background? That's so cool. I want to catch a Buizel. I feel like Buizel is so underrated. For sure, Buizel is so underrated as a Pokemon. Okay, cool. So that means... Auto heal, okay. My question is, where do we go now? I wanted to explore the other room. Let's go to the next area, the staff room, and see where... What's waiting for us in there. Oh. Pretty quiet. Who's that? That's a new character. Oh! Wait. Very well, champion. Huh? She's a champion? Who is she? We didn't get to... meet that person. Who was that? Huh, is she the champion of this region? Champion rank, huh? Interesting. Yeah, so this is the road that is like a... Your traditional Pokemon game where you go into... The gym battles and then take on the Pokemon League. Yeah, there's... Actually... That I remember, I think there's like 10? Gym battles? That you could get? Or 10 badges that you could get? But it's not gyms, I think. I think it's like something weird. It's not very traditional. It's like you get two or five uh, badges off like doing something else. Oh, I think it's the treasure hunt is what it is.
Yeah, for sure. We gotta level up our Pokemon and evolve them. Nice, so we're gonna... I still haven't decided which... I think I'm probably gonna do the gym battles. Oh, so it tells us what type it is and who the gym leader is. Oh. So if I want to go fight them, I can. Interesting. Victory Road. Oh, so that's going to be after we complete the badges. Oh, I forgot to check how many badges there was or how many gym leaders. Oh, cool. Okay, so let me open up the map and see. Oh, that's a Riolu. I want to get a Riolu. Okay, so I guess we got to go to the office. Okay. Ding dong. Is that a Riolu? I want to say hi to the... No, not you. I want to say to Riolu. That's so cool. All right, actually. Uh, how do we open the map? I'm pressing the button. There we go. Yeah, this shows us the Pokédex of the Pokémon that we catch and then the Pokémon that we saw. I guess we can't really check the map. Okay. Where do we want to go? We want to go to the main office because that's where they called us. Okay, so where do we go next? What do you want? Okay. So far, yes, it's been quite peaceful. Oh no, that's not good. Did he hear about Team Star? Who's your friend? <laughs> Who is it? Oh, who is this? Oh, it's the professor of the region. Oh, so the center of Paldea is area zero. Okay, so now that I understand that. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, interesting. So he went to this university. Okay. That is correct. He is in our back pocket. Assistance? For what? Oh, there he is. Wait, so he what? Oh, so he once owned Murad uh, Don? Oh, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Pretty strong Pokemon, and we already have him, so might as well, right? Interesting. Oh, so that's going to be super useful traveling around the whole Aldea region. Oh, nice. Okay, interesting. Maybe... Would make sense why it looks like that. Huh. Nice, alright. Alright, so now... Where do we go? Oh. There's Nimona. 
<laughs> no, we did not. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go to the dorm rooms, I guess. Oh, very comfy, not gonna lie. It looks better than pretty much in real life bedrooms or dorm rooms. Okay. Do we get some rest? Yeah, sure. Let's uh, sleep in and see what expects us tomorrow morning. Look at time pass. That's so cool. Okay, now what? Oh no, someone's ringing. Oh, wait, no, that's the phone, right? Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, our phone's ringing again. Oh no, that's the doorbell. It's time for what? Okay, for what? Interesting, so we are gonna go to the schoolyard, but we are gonna be doing that on the next episode of Pokemon of Violet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button below to see more. Pokemon Violet on the channel. If you're almost ready, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Hooray.